Hey YouTubers, what's good here? Um, today, or this morning, I'm going to share my experience with you at, I completed my freshman year at the Colorado Technical University online. Um, share my experiences with it. A lot of them, a lot of it, the stuff is, of course, I probably said in a, another video that I had on somewhere on here that I did a couple months ago on the Colorado Technical University where a lot of it's in telepath. Well, this last class also had quite a bit of discussion boards on it. Um, of course, I wasn't, I'm not real great at English or whatever, but, you know, there's going to be some struggles, of course, in the classes. If you're going to do good at one class and you might not do so great at the other um, but the great thing about the IntelliPaths, which I might have said before, were like, um, you know, well, what I said before on how um, your IntelliPaths are, which is pretty cool because it actually shows you as you're progressing through your assignments so far what percentage you are. Um, if you, okay, so let's say for instance, okay, it says I'm 59%. Um, obviously that's enough. You don't, I mean, you don't, there's, it, and then the other cool part is, yes, it might say it has a due date on the IntelliPath, but it does not necessarily have to be due until the end of the course from what I found out, regardless of what grade you got. Say, okay, um, say another one. Um, let's say, okay, you got a D plus on your, on your unit one and telepath or whatever. There's no late penalties on the telepaths, which I think is really, really cool. Um, so let's say you got a D plus on your telepath. You're like, nah, you can always change it, nah. I don't like this, I don't like the fact that I got a D plus on this, blah, blah, blah. You can actually improve your grade. You can go back into the IntelliPath and do um, practice objective, which I didn't even know that you, actually, that you actually got scored on that, but I thought that was like, okay, that's pretty interesting because there was one assignment that it was a 63%, a D plus, I believe. And... I thought it was like, okay, so it's a D plus. Uh, can I get a better grade here? Yeah. So I looked at it again, and for some reason, I, I wasn't, I didn't realize it was doing the practice objective, but I did. And I seen my score go from 63% to, from a D plus to maybe a C minus, which is, is it 70%? And I was like, oh. So, wow. Um, and the other great thing is usually every week or every uh, uh, beginning of each unit has a determined knowledge thing. And basically, to see where your level's at or whatever. And I thought it was kind of cool because there were a couple times, there were actually quite a few times last year, which I'm technically going to say this year, um... I thought it was actually pretty cool because it was like, well, okay, so each unit brings you a determined knowledge that needs to be completed by usually it's Friday, two days after your instructor has told you to do your determined knowledge. And what, um, so basically, so I did that, the determined knowledge, and it like, it, like it's, what's interesting about this is several times, okay, so there was eight. Some what some there was eight lessons that I that I needed to complete in that unit, and I skipped out all eight lessons because I did really good on my determined knowledge. So that was pretty sweet. So I was like, oh wow, that takes a lot off me. And just a couple, I only spent ten minutes on this one assignment, and I have it, it completed already, and I got like. Maybe 84, 85%. Usually it was somewhere around 80, 80, 80 to 85% usually was the grade on it. 
So I was like, okay, so this is cool. I mean, so you could, there's, there's the terminology, one thing. Um, the students at Colorado Technical University online, you would not think that, or a lot of students, especially the first year, which was their freshman year, um, they wouldn't think that, well, okay, so I'm not going to, so why, why is it so important we have to do this to terminology? I mean, because the instructor goes, okay, you don't really get, you don't get graded for it. Well, technically, no, you don't. But at the, you know, at depending, but it needs to be, that determinology needs to be completed. No matter if you complete one lesson, there have been times where I've done determinology as well, too, and I would get questions right. And sometimes it will say, okay, so you have seven lessons this week, but you didn't test out or none of them because you didn't get a good enough score on your terminology. Well, you submitted it, your terminology. But does that mean maybe you got maybe 26% complete? Okay, well, that's, you know, a terrible grade. You're going to keep wanting to work on your assignment because you don't want to just leave it like that. And usually it is nice because it will tell you, literally tell you what projected score, calculated score, whatever you have which I've always thought that was so cool. Um, so, yeah, so the first year, so of course it was tricky. It's rewarding to get that first year out of the way. I have three more years to go. Oh yeah, let me um, suggest these discussion boards. Some of them require, uh, Okay, how some say ask you, oh, how's your week going, or how e everything's going in your life, blah blah blah. You don't need to explain all that, but um, just stuff, and then there, maybe just little stuff, some sessions on the discussion boards, and then there's other discussion boards like my last two two classes. Three classes, two classes, three classes, I can't, or was it all three? Um, or was it even four? We're towards the end of the year, towards the end of my, my uh, final quarter for my freshman year. I mean, the discussion boards required a little bit more detail because a lot of these discussion boards, for the longest time, they were only ten points. Because they didn't require you to, these discussion boards were, most of them were simple, real simple, and didn't ask for a whole lot of stuff. Maybe how your week was going, what goals you have for the week, whatever, you know, or basically you would have to post something on a discussion board. But my, like I said, the last four classes that I might have taken, the discussion boards re required a little bit more, um... Some required, like there was one, this, uh, the second to my last quarter, so, which was, I think it was quarter 4A, because it goes 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B, 4A, and then it goes to 4B. Okay, so this was 4A, which there was this... The, on the discussion board, I was doing one on Pangea. How, for, I can't remember how many millions of years, how it was all a supercontinent. Everything was all one, and so many million years later, the continents splitted, and that's how we got these mountains and everything. So, I, you know, that was probably one of the better discussion boards that I actually did. Um... And then, of course, I didn't do very great on the last discussion board. Um, like I said, there's some of them, some of these discussion boards are 75, point, 75 points. And the other thing about the, the discussion boards, um, maybe they require you to, 10 points because it doesn't require a whole lot. 
and then there's 75 points because it requires a lot more. See, I might go on to some bigger discussion boards in my second year. I don't know, because I start my second year January 5th of, uh, okay, two weeks from now, but it's next year, 2021. I probably shouldn't even say the next year, but I don't know. Um, well, like I said, 2020 is, oh my gosh, this year is just terrible. Damn coronavirus and all that stuff. And I mean, this is kind of a year to forget. So can I believe 2020 is pretty much out the door? Tell you the truth, I can't wait for it to be out the door because this was a crappy year. Wasn't able to do a whole lot. Um, so yes, this is definitely a year to forget. And, um, the plus side is I completed year one of college. So I'm, you know, I'm one step, I'm one step closer to getting that degree that I've been, that I'm working so hard to get. Oh boy, that, that didn't work. But, you know, like, degree, I'm working so hard to get. Completing that one year, that was quite the accomplishment. Um, I felt really happy. Like, I could finally pat myself on the back. And, you know, I still got a ways to go. Um, I'm not done with college by any old, any means. But the review on Colorado, well, I already did that. But, um, so, yeah, it's... It's been rewarding, and I don't know what the second year is going to bring. Um, I suppose I will make a video for sure in a couple weeks and kind of tell you on what is all what all classes I'm going to take. Are the discussion boards going to be? Well, I know there's there's probably going to be discussion boards because there usually one is one every week like it's set like um discussion boards even they might be 10 points or 75 points or whatever make sure even if it's 10 points it still has got to be done because it's part of your attendance and if you uh and pretty much if you sign up for this university instructors will tell you the same exact thing it is very important for your or your professor or whatever you want to go by However you want to address who's ever teaching the class. And like, if you decide to sign up for Colorado Technical University, a lot of it, yes, a lot of your grade is you're in telepath. And I think you'll really enjoy it if that's what you end up deciding. Say, hey, this guy, Tony, he goes to Colorado Technical University. And he seems to love it. Well, I do, you know. Because, and... This is a great college. I mean, not everything's going to go perfect every single time, but, you know, you're working for that degree. You know you can do it. It might be hard as hell. Um, and then if it gets difficult, there is this thing on the on your student portal thing that... Uh, has smart thinking, which has tutors 24 sec 7. You can either schedule a session. I never schedule because they're, they're usually all the gaps are filled. Um, and I just, I just have a, do a drop in session. And, and like, there's this one time it was like two o'clock in the morning and I needed, and I was stuck on a question and I needed a tutor. That tutor was available. I just chose drop in session because, like I said, I never schedule them because everything's all filled up half the time. I mean, it's so, so I just kind of like, okay, because, like I said, it's not going to be every time where I'm going to need a tutor to help me. I've only had to use that a couple times. I probably should have actually used it a little more. I really, I mean, because that, that, I mean, my discussion boards, the grades for my last course on the discussion boards just weren't good. And I didn't put any time into these discussion boards. My instructors, I'd get an email or a message or whatever. 
or they'll reply to your discussion post and they'll tell you, well, what's wrong? I kind of just blew it off. Like, okay, whatever. I posted to the discussion board. I guess the most, I mean, I wish I would have actually did it better because my GPA kind of went down, you know? I mean, that's the other thing. Oh, it's like, okay, so I'm going to get, I'm getting a D on these, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, that's great because you're going to pass the class. The thing is, though, if you're wondering, I mean, if you're also taking into account your GPA that you have, like, it's like, okay, so my GPA is a 3.10, and I got a D plus in this class. So, okay, I barely passed it. I'm going to get the credits. Big deal, right? Um, yeah, you're going to pass it, and you're going to get the credits, but you got to also take an effect that your GPA score will go down from, like, say you have 310, and the the grade for that class that you passed got a D plus. Your GPA could go anywhere from two from 3.10 to 3 point, or 2.70 because, you know, it I, it depends on what, I mean, because whatever grade you got in that class, I mean, your grades are probably going to, your GPA is probably going to fluctuate throughout the year. But I think uh, mine was fairly disappointing because this last one, I, I got a D, I barely passed it, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I barely passed that. I could have got an actual higher GPA, but that GPA was actually just, it went from, I had a 2 point, was it a 2.13 GPA? And because I didn't do very good on that one class, but I did pass it, it went down to, my GPA was 1.86. So it was like, wow, what a drop. So, you know, then it come before I came on doing this video, I was like, you know, maybe I should have actually used a tutor because I barely ever used I only used it two times in my first year. And well I didn't use it, which I should have actually used it, you know, now that I think of it, but basically that's all the stuff I have to say about this university, um, how my first year went, um, Colorado Technical University, I recommend if you're looking, if you guys are looking for an online school, this might be the college to sign up for, um, and then plus if you want to get in from, if you end up doing that and you're interested in Colorado Technical University, uh, you can, Obviously, ask your whoever answers the phone about the uni uh, about more maybe more information about this university and what it has to offer. It, or it has fast tracks. I probably even just I even told you that. Which there isn't very many college that fast track. I don't think, but this one this university does. And if you pass, your classes are free or the, the, cl the classes that you test out are free because they're not on your schedule. You would knock them off your schedule. But, you know, that's the other thing. I, I wish I would have actually took the fast tracks a little more seriously, even though it wasn't a big deal if you didn't pass it or whatever. It just, your cl that class that you had to take would be on there. But I took all the fat foolishly, without thinking, I actually took all the fast tracks that were in my program. So now I can't, but I can't fast track anymore, apparently. I don't know if, I, if, I don't know if that's the way it is just for the year. Hopefully not. I mean, oh, yeah, hopefully yes, it's for the year and then they just restart again. You know, that would be actually cool. Like, if I got fast tracks, available fast tracks for next, all of 2021, that would be really cool. I would actually take these fast tracks a little more seriously than what I was doing, you know. But I didn't. I probably should have. But, you know. 
Anyways, enough babble about that. I definitely try, if you're looking for an online school, Colorado Technical University online. Um, and I'm Tori, and that's the end of my video. Peace.